Hello everyone. I wanted to update everyone on the scavenger hunt book that I had started for my Thanksgiving travels. I did not get very far. I did collect a lot of things, but I didn't work a lot in the books. So I did add um, hearts and I put the fibers page or if the fibers into the book I'm going to add a picture of some yarn on the other side I did include some more flowers my flowers is done but this was only supposed to be a sample book I was supposed to do it really fast it wasn't really meant for a project so I am going to put this away for a while I will add things to it. I still need to add the categories for the other pages. I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag and put pictures as I find them in here and glue them in when I get a chance. But I am putting this one away for, for a little bit. I want to work on the real challenge that I'm giving myself. Um, I am going to do a scavenger hunt book and I've given myself um, a pages 51 I think pages in here so I need 51 categories I will be doing this in 2016 I don't expect it to be a, a, a short quick thing um, it's going to take me a while because I'm going to be collecting challenge categories that I've given myself so to, and just to back up a little bit I am going to challenge others to do a scavenger hunt. Make a book to do it in. Um, there's many different ways to do a book. This one is a is an easy one. It used to be one of those blank books. I took the pages out of it because they were handmade pages and they didn't take glue very well. They didn't take writing very well. I emptied that book out and I put in the pages from um, Stampington and Company, the Art to Borrow that come in the magazines. I've collected those for quite a while. I never know what to use them for, so I decided, since they fit this book perfectly, that I would go ahead and tie them in here and use this for my challenge categories. Like I said, there are 51 pages, like full pages to use so it's going to be an awfully big project and I'm going to take my time with it and have some fun with it. Some of the categories that I'm going to use for this one is Alice in Wonderland, Eiffel Tower, trees, things with wings, transportation, mythical creatures, music, time. I'm going to do all the colors including white, elephants, frogs, cats, tickets, hands, famous faces, eggs, keys, hats. I haven't finished the list all together yet, but that's the way I'm going. Um, I will put it in a plastic baggie and add pictures as I find them. I've already found a few to put in here, but that's going to be a long, probably a year long, if not longer, project. It's an easy way to make a, a, a book. Just tie they're, it's just tied in with um, cotton crochet thread. The pages are just tied in so that I can take them out. And if it works out real well, I probably will sew them in, but I can do that at a later time. Another way to do a book would be to use um, a small regular book. You take pages out so that you have enough room for gluing and things inside the book. This one I have taken out a lot of pages and I have left just enough for each letter of the alphabet. The covers are blank but I have one letter for every or one page for every letter. Um, this one I'm going to be putting words that I find as well as pictures. I found a little cartoon A. I thought he was perfect for this. But I will be collecting 
words that start with A, words that start with B, and so on. So I do have a giraffe in there. I like the giraffes. So that's going to be another one of my... Oh, that's a problem. One of my projects. So you can do an easy book by just taking some pages out of an old book and using that to glue things into. My original scavenger hunt sample book is a junk journal. So it has envelopes that I can put things in. It has magazine pages. It has book pages. It has um, junk mail um, card stock. This was an insurance thing. Uh, it has, this was a magazine page, you are what you eat. It has, what else does it have in here? Just all kinds of junk mail, mostly, with a lot of envelopes that you can add things to. So that's three different ways to make a journal. You could also use a box. Um, as a cover. This one isn't bound up yet. I've just used scrapbook paper, made signatures, folded the scrapbook paper in half, and I will be sewing those into a book. This one is not necessarily going to be a scavenger hunt. It's probably going to be a glue book for fun. Just fun pictures. See what happens. So, I mean, there's many different ways to make a book. So my challenge to everyone is make a book. I would suggest making it not too big. I would go with four signatures of seven pages. Just because that would give you quite a few pages to work with. And I will give you some categories to challenge you. So if you're going to do a challenge, then make your book however big you want. You can make put as many pages in you want. You can make a junk journal or use an old book, whatever you want to do. And the first categories that I'm going to give you are trees, stars, wings, anything with wings, red, and fish. Some easy categories to start you off with because I know December is busy with Christmas and everything. So what I'm going to do is update you with my scavenger hunt books every month and every month I will put five new categories out there and you can find your pictures, whatever, however you want to find them. If you want to buy them on sale, stickers at the store, if you want to find them in magazines and catalogs that you've been using for Christmas, I'm not going to put those rules on to you. I'm just going to give you categories and hope you that you have fun finding things for your books. It's just a fun little challenge and you can um, inflict all the rules you want to or don't want to, however you want to do it. So each category would probably get one page. So trees and stars or however you want to do it. If you have envelopes, you can put things in envelopes and things like that. So I'm giving you the challenge. If you choose to accept it, I will be putting new videos up once a month just for update for the, the scavenger hunts that I'm doing. So hope you have fun. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.